Okay, we trimmed that because we want it to keep going. What happens is they'll seed. When they start to seed, you just trim it down and it'll, it'll keep going. All right, let me show you my garden. We got a little experimental in here too. That's some garlic and stuff. Let me, let me walk you through the garden really fast. I just want to show you what we got here. That's romaine lettuce. I don't want to show you. I can't show you everything. I just don't have the time. But it's, it's too big of a garden. But we got some green beans here. You can see all the green beans. We got some more romaine lettuce coming down through here. Sorry about the shade, folks. Got a green bean, a little tomato plant. Some green beans, another little tomato plants down here. This is all new area we're gonna be we're gonna be doing. Okay, we come down here, we got some more green beans. We're gonna try to get you through this really fast. See how I do them in different? That way, when these ones go by, these ones will just be coming. Okay, and we got some tomatoes here. And they are putting off tomatoes. Them ones didn't get very big. You can see they have tomatoes though. Okay, these are green peppers. We're gonna go down through here. Sorry about the shade, folks. We got some green peppers here. We'll never go through this whole garden. Beet greens, these are all beet greens up through here. Okay, then we're all beet greens. Got some cucumbers there, some more green beans. These are doing really good. Look at these, these are doing really good. These are all my peas. My peas are doing really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, we're not gonna get you through the whole garden. We're just not gonna be able to do it, but let's do what we can. Some more peas. These are all cucumbers here. You see how clean it is. You keep this nice and clean. You want to keep that stuff out of there. Things like this, you want to get it right out of there. You don't want to have any problems with that. Another cucumber. Come down through here. That's a potato hill, but it never took. We don't worry about it. We don't worry about that stuff. Okay, we got some tomatoes here. Look at these tomatoes. That was the one that died. It come back. That's why I say just don't, don't mess with stuff. Leave stuff be. Now, we've only got between 10... Between $10 and $50, that's it, into this garden. I'm not kidding. We don't have much money in this garden at all. I will save seeds, but a lot of this is going to have to, it's work. You have to try. You can't just not do anything. You have to try. And you learn by doing. You might save seeds and not have any next year. That's okay. Write on them so you know what they are. And, uh... And, you know, that way you know, so when you put them in that section, if they grow or if they don't, then you'll know. But it's trial and error. If you just want to buy seeds, we'll go ahead and do that. But for what little bit you put in, you're going to get a lot out of it. I'm telling you, you're going to get a big bang for what you put in. Now, the reason we do this, I can't take it through the whole garden. Sorry, folks, there just isn't enough time. The reason we do this is it feeds a lot of families. And if I took that money and tried to feed families, we could never do it. There, there wouldn't be enough. But I can take that same amount of money and feed a lot of families.